Thanks for staying with us. From the lush coca plantation of Jamaica to your taste buds, it's the story of Little More Chocolate. Here's Deja Thomas with the Business Review. When I moved to Jamaica in 2010, we were going with my husband in the countryside and each time we were stopping, people were saying little more. And I googled it because I didn't know what it means. But soon after... And it became my favorite Jamaican expression because it was so friendly and it means a little bit more or see you soon. And I thought it was perfect for our chocolate because who would want to have more of a chocolate? Having been transplanted from the Ivory Coast in 2010, CEO of Licklemore Chocolate, Nadine Bury, fell in love with Jamaica and started to capitalize on one of the natural resources. As a non-Jamaican, when I was going back in my country or when I was visiting people, I wanted to buy something different that was rum or coffee. And I love chocolate since I'm little. And when I found out that Jamaica has one of the best uh, cocoa in the world, the interest came to me to understand how, it, how we could process and how we can make it more Jamaican with Jamaican flavors. Uniquely designed to tantalize the taste buds, each chocolate bar has a splash of Jamaican flavors. And Licklemore Chocolate has carved out a niche for itself without using any artificial additives. All the cocoa butter coloring, it's, we use a natural cocoa butter coloring that is made from an extract of fruit and vegetables. Same thing for our packaging, we have a sustainable packaging, the box are recycled, the inner bag are, we, are made with plant-based, so we're really sustainable inside out. Here's a sneak peek of the process. First of all, we have two ways of making our chocolate. We buy, we work directly with small farmers and we have two models. One, we buy the beans already fermented and another one, we do the, the whole fermentation. I mold chocolate and I also roast the beans in the oven, a willow and a blow and then we weigh it and then we tag the pans with the beans and then when we're ready we grind it and put it in the melanger. Although the business which started right as the pandemic hit, it was not a setback for Mrs. Bury. She used it as an opportunity to refine her venture. We're ready with our new packaging and as soon as we launch it was a major uh, difference. However, Mother Nature has not always been cooperative. The challenges that we can have is the machinery that we have to import. The cost of those machinery is very expensive. Um, the weather, if the weather is bad, we don't get good cocoa. Now having doubled its revenue, Licklemore Chocolate exports to the United States, Canada, Switzerland, Barbados and France and sees a spiking demand during the celebratory seasons between November and April. But she's still seeking to add even Licklemore. We would like to export to be available in the UK, in all the Caribbean country and also all the European country. For the Business Review, I'm Deja Thomas.